You will never see chocolate the same way you did before when you see how this actress indulges it like a true Parisian. The now 58-year-old multi-awarded French actress, director, dancer, and visual artist, Juliette Binoche, has an estimated net worth of $20 million. This is the expose of the shocking truths about her off-the-screen adventures. Before we start, please hit that subscribe button. We would appreciate it since few people have subscribed lately to our channel. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now let's get on with it. A Family of Versatility Juliette was born on the 9th of March 1964 in Paris to the director and multi-artist Jean-Marie Binoche and Monique Yvette Stalens, a multi-talented actress herself. Her father is of Portuguese-Brazilian descent and grew up in Morocco. Her mother was born in Poland and is of French descent. Juliet's maternal grandparents were imprisoned in Auschwitz, suspected of being intellectuals during the German Nazi occupation. When she was four years of age, her parents divorced in 1968. She and her sister were then left in the care of their maternal grandmother. Juliet's sister, Marion Stalens, is now a professional photographer and documentary film director, while her half-brother, Camille Humeau, is an acclaimed musician. The Parisian became an actress. She began acting in amateur school productions. The starry-eyed girl directed and joined the student production for the Eugene Ionesco play Exit the King at the young age of 17. This Parisian attended CNSAD, a French drama school, but had to quit shortly after. During the 1980s, she joined a theater troupe touring in France, Belgium, and Switzerland. She used her moniker Juliette Adrian and took acting lessons from her newfound coach Vera Gregg. She debuted in French cinema. Her first-hand experience on screen was a small role in a French three-part television series in 1983. She appeared in provincial television films and took minor roles until she got her acting career in place through more French films. She auditioned in 1983 for Jean-Luc Godard's Hail Mary, a controversial and modern retelling of the nativity. In 1985, she finally emerged to be a leading actress in André Téchiné's film since the first chosen actress had to discontinue the filming due to a conflict in schedule. It premiered at the 1985 Cannes Film Festival, receiving the Best Director Award. The actress also became a sensation. She was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role at César Awards in 1986. The arts and culture magazine Film Comment described her portrayal as a career-defining performance. That same year, she starred in Leos Crax's production, which led to her second César nomination. Late in 1988, she worked in another Leos Crax film, which was released in 1991 due to the delay in the production. It was a critical success that Juliet received her third César nomination and won a European Film Award. Her paintings were also featured in this movie. She entered English-based films. Her first English language role came in 1986, co-starring the veteran actor Daniel Day-Lewis for the film The Unbearable Lightness of Being, an American drama based on a novel of the same title. During that time, her English was limited and she had to rely on French translations to emerge in the role. She went back to creating more French films. In the 1992 adaptation of the gothic romance Wuthering Heights, Juliet was cast as the sought-after character Catherine Earnshaw, co-starring with Rafe Fiennes, who played the torn lover Heathcliff. It was also the latter's film debut. Juliet relocated to London for the film's production. The novel adaptation and also the film Damage considerably helped her international reputation. Although the British press was unimpressed because an English role was given to a French actress. In 1993, she appeared in the critically acclaimed Three Colors Blue, which premiered at Venice Film Festival, and she accepted the Best Actress Award. She won a César Award and received a nomination for the Golden Globe. After giving birth to her son, she came back on screen in 1995 to be part of the most expensive film created in French cinema, Jean Giono's The Horseman on the Roof. It was a box office hit, and yet again she received another César nomination for Best Actress. 
Yes. She had another project with Ray Fiennes in 1996 for the Academy Award-winning film The English Patient. It also starred the stellar actress Dame Kristen Ann Scott Thomas in the lead female role, while Juliette won her Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. She continuously made several international and French films until she made her Broadway debut in Harold Pinter's Betrayal, where she received a Tony Award nomination. In 2000, the seductive comedy-drama film Chocolat premiered. The actress took on the part of an expert chocolate shop owner who influenced the lives of the people in a small French community. The film also starred Johnny Depp, the love interest. She won the title Best Actress in the European Film Audience Award and was also nominated for a BAFTA and an Academy Award. Aside from the period drama roles often set in the historic and romantic era, the A-lister ventured to more challenging roles and thus took on the modern French rom-com Jet Lag, co-starring Jean Reno. She also went to South Africa for the filming of 2004 John Borman's In My Country opposite Samuel L. Jackson. She was also in the 2005 American drama Bee Season starring Richard Gere. The actress then starred in 2005 Mary, a controversial drama thriller about the modern faith and Magdalene's position in Catholicism. It featured quite an ensemble such as Forrest Whitaker, Matthew Modine, and Marion Cotillard. She had to travel to Toronto International Film Festival in 2006 for the premiere of her next film, Breaking and Entering, co-starring Jude Law. She also worked with Steve Carell in the Disney-produced rom-com Dan in Real Life, which surprisingly was a commercial success, grossing over $65 million worldwide. Juliet also worked with the teenage heartthrob Robert Pattinson for the 2012 Canadian drama thriller Cosmopolis. She was also in Gareth Edwards' American monster film Godzilla in 2014. The veteran actress also took on a supporting role in the cult manga live-action film Ghost in the Shell, released in 2017, starring Scarlett Johansson. Juliet's real-to-life romances she had been romantically involved with Andre Howe, a professional scuba diver and father to her son Raphael. She was also in a relationship with the actor Benoit Machimel, the father of her second child, Hannah. But she found her way back to Patrick Muldoon, whom she was in a relationship with from 2003 to 2005. They reconciled in 2014 and are together up to the present. The actress is quite an activist. This activist has been supporting a French-Cambodian charity organization, which was previously known as Aspeca since 1992. She became the godmother to five Cambodian orphans and also funded a children's home construction in the province of Batambang, Cambodia. She was also involved since 2000 in the non-profit, non-government organization called RSF, which stands for Reporters Without Borders, safeguarding the right to freedom of information across the globe. In 2006, she attended the high-profile demonstration by RSF in support of American journalist Jill Carroll and the Iraqi journalist who were seized in Baghdad. She also signed the petition by RSF to protest against the detention of several people, including the press, who protested the anniversary of the re-elected President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad of Iran. During the 2010 Cannes Film Festival, the activist was awarded Best Actress and used her speech to raise more awareness on the detention of an influential Iranian director, Jafar Panahi, who was arrested without a significant charge or conviction, along with his wife and daughter. He was later charged with propaganda against the government with six years in prison and a 20-year ban from filming. The said director created a video diary documentary of his struggles and it was moved out of his country via a flash drive hidden inside a cake and was shown during the said festival. Many renowned figures, actors, filmmakers, and organizations fought for his cause. The actress activist joined other French personalities in 2010 with a symbolic cake of solidarity to emphasize the taxation and legitimacy concerns faced by undocumented workers located in France. Juliette Binoche has reached over 70 films both in cinemas and on television, and over 30 awards, recognitions, and nominations combined from several international awarding bodies from the US, Berlin, the UK, and other European award hosts. This A-lister has certainly gone a long way. Please hit that thumbs up for us to know if we are doing well in providing you with entertaining facts. Watch out for more.